I'm finished now, really, but people ask me a lot in the U.S. about the religiosity of, of Americans, and you were so, we're such believers. Well, we, we are, as far as polls go, and as far as some well-known evangelical leaders. But basically, in my opinion, it relates to what you were saying. And pe people, um, it's, it's very personal religion. It's not corporate religion. It's religion without authority. It's an attempt to get away from any imposed theoretical threat. And it, it comes to play a little bit in the American Episcopal Church because we're so much more focused on the pastoral than the, than the ecclesial. And I think in some ways before Gene Robinson was elected in New Hampshire, Americans really didn't know what the Anglican Communion was and in a funny way weren't even quite sure what the role of a bishop was related to the larger church. So mm -hmm. it's a type of education that will be positive, basically, in the end. Mm -hmm. Anyway. Well, let me say, I'm an admirer of the American people. I lived, I lived in the States for nine years. Oh know, my gosh, I didn't realize it was that long. I taught in theological seminary for nine yeah. years. I was yeah. professor of theology there before I came back to this country to teach theology in Oxford. And my wife and I, looking back on 57 years of marriage and family life, <laughs> often say, these years in America were very good. They were some of the best years oh. I've had. And Americans are friendly. I was never felt, I never felt like a foreigner in America. Oh, you know, that's yeah. that's important. Oh. Because you speak the same language more well, or less. Well, but you can, but I can feel like a foreigner here sometimes. You do in feel London. like a foreigner, do you? Yeah, yes. I don't know why. Well, I think probably the English are a little bit more reserved than Americans. Uh -huh. I don't think you would feel actual hostility. No, but, no, no, uh, no. You, you would, they would perhaps think, oh, well, she's an American. What I was teaching at Union, of course, it's quite a cosmopolitan place, and we had one professor who was a friend, from a French background, another one from a German mm -hmm. background. Mm -hmm. We very often had a visiting professor from Asia, we had mm -hmm. a Japanese, and there was a real sort of corporate spirit there and uh, mm -hmm. people didn't really wonder very much what your background mm -hmm. was. Mm -hmm. Here I think this, they do a think we're a background and for instance not just your national background but say your social background. Yeah. I think in England, if your grandfather was a bishop, oh, you must be somebody. <laughs> if your grandfather was, uh, what shall we say, a uh, peasant farmer, uh, well, that sort of rubs off on you nowadays uh -huh. too. So I think America is a more open society and a more friendly society. But of course, no society is perfect and you've got a lot of problem. Well, and it'll be interesting to see how the Anglican Communion, how, what happens. I mean, I think today there's a big election in California is there? Yeah. related to... Oh yes, I did hear about that. And if, and, and... It's uh, four candidates or something like that. Yes, mm -hmm. and uh, they'll have to be approved when the general convention comes in Ohio in June. It could be problematic. Oh, yeah. California is always at the front at of the innovation, <laughs> aren't they? Well, whether they're going forwards or backwards is another question. <laughs> <laughs>
Le meaux il en devine, sa cruille le meurtrier en